Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. In April of 2023, I became aware of two pretty big new discoveries in uh, the realm of Viking or Norse studies. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what those are and where you can get a little bit more information about both of them. Now, 2023 has been a pretty big year for discoveries in this field, and in particular, I was excited by the January announcement of the oldest known writing in runes being discovered in Norway. You can see another video that I made about that some months ago. And the spring kicked off with the announcement of uh, another quite old runic inscription, one in Elder Futhark, which proclaimed that the bearer or maybe maker of a particular item of jewelry uh, from Denmark was uh, Odin's man, uh, which whatever exactly that happened to mean, woe us, whereas you can see another video I made about that too. Well, the first discovery that I became aware of in April 2023 uh, is not uh, a rune find, but also from Denmark, from Jylland or Jutland, the peninsula. Uh, found near Bromsleu, and this includes about 300 silver objects from around AD 980, the time of Harold Bluetooth, whose uh, runic initials for his nickname are known to all of us from the symbols on our phone. These objects included about 50 Danish, German, and Arabic coins. Now, uh, presumably some of this foreign currency is really being used more for ornamentation than uh, as a medium of exchange. And there's actually two distinct hoards that were found less than 50 yards from each other. And so it's an interesting question exactly what the context was in which this, uh, these, these huge hoards would have been buried. It could be uh, due to some political tumult that we know about uh, in the Danish ruling family from about the time of the burial. Now most of the reporting that I've seen that had any information beyond this has been in Danish, so I will link in uh, a pinned comment or the video description or something below for you to uh, follow up with this, especially if you read Danish. The English language reporting that I've seen has lagged behind and I haven't seen a ton of uh, great detail, but at least in the Danish reporting you can see some pretty good nice clear photos of some of these silver objects, including especially the silver coins. Now, I'm going to give you a quick word from my friends and partners at Grimfrost and then talk about a less reported on find that was made in Norway in April 2023. Now, I've been really surprised that this next find has not been more reported on, and in fact, I only found out about it from my Patreon supporter, Ranvag. So thank you, Ranvag. This is uh, potentially the oldest known sailing vessel from Norway. Uh, what we've got uh, is the remaining stern of a Viking ship, part of which uh, had actually been excavated already in 1886. Now, this ship found on the island Karmoy in southwestern Norway is dated to around AD 770. So this is very early Viking Age, arguably depending on where you want to draw these arbitrary lines, even pre-Viking Age. It is part of a ship burial, and radar has also identified yet another ship and another burial mound nearby, plus a whole smaller boat inside this first mound that was partially excavated more than a century ago. So that's pretty cool because this is actually 50 years older than the well-known Usaberg ship, which uh, is probably the most famous excavated Viking ship, certainly from Norway, and which also was a, uh, a 
burial for a high status individual. The ship is over 20 yards long and uh, the 19th century excavations that unveiled part of it also found swords, a spear, and jewelry. So again, high status items from uh, probably a high status warrior or a family member of such a person excavated there. This makes it the oldest known Viking ship grave. And what is interesting is again, looking at the high status that the, the burial context implies, this isn't very close to any known centers of Viking Age power that would eventually grow up around the Vik region, right? The Oslo region or around Trondheim, the area uh, that would become the uh, sort of capital city of medieval Norway, Nidaros, later Trondheim. Uh, note there are some Swedish vessels excavated in Estonia that date to around 8750, but still this is in the very earliest rungs of sailing vessels known from Scandinavia, certainly the earliest known from Norway, and it will be very interesting to see what uh, can be found in this mound once it's fully excavated and the rest of that ship and the other ship brought out. The Viking Ship Museum, located near Oslo, should have some more information about this. I'll also uh, put the link down below to the Norwegian article from which I just got this information. And you might also want to check out a video that I made with a gentleman who is uh, actually engaged in the business of making replica Viking ships with replica Viking Age tools and technologies and techniques. I hope to uh, go back to Norway in the near future and get more information on the scene, both from uh, replica ship builders and about these new discoveries. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Patreon, for your support that makes this channel possible. And from beautiful Wyoming, please know everyone that I'm wishing you all the best.